G'day everyone, Nathan here at Glass for Classics. What we're going to walk you through today is installing your new quarter vent window glass into the chrome vent frame. It's a reasonably straightforward process. We get asked a lot, so this will uh, make life a lot easier for many of you. Now, you're only going to need a couple of very basic tools, a pair of scissors, sharp razor blade, and some kerosene is really all you're going to need for this process, so pretty straightforward. What we're going to do uh, is we're going to use the original product that most of, the, most of the manufacturers use from the factory. It's a product called setting tape. We've got it in a few different thicknesses, very simple to use. It's basically a butyl based compound, so eventually it's going to go tacky and it's going to bond to the glass and to the frame. What you're going to do, you're going to fold this in half all the way along the entire length, crease it nice and tight, from one end to the other. Right, now what we're going to do. We're just going to tape this onto the glass. If you've got some black electrical tape, that's fine. I've got a couple of small bits of uh, just some clear tape here, which will do the job as well. It's just to hold it so you don't need a couple of sets of hands and you can do it on your own. So we'll just go ahead. We'll tape this in place just so that it's not moving on us. All right. Now the next task is going to be in the bottom corner here. If we leave this as it is and you try and force it in, there's too much material just in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pleat this in half like so. We're going to grab the scissors and we're just going to cut straight into the bottom corner. You're only going to the point at which the glass is touching it. So you're then going to fold one over and that one over the other one so that they're overlapping. Then with the blade, all you're going to do is you're going to push straight down. Don't scissor it, don't saw it because you risk scratching the glass. Then we can remove the two bits of waste and you'll have a nice clean join down the centre. So we'll flip that over, we'll do the same on the opposite side, like so. Now you're going to leave a little bit down the centre here. That has to stay, otherwise your setting tape is going to be in two pieces and it's going to be very hard to work with. So just apply the pressure, remove the excess. So now we're nice and flush in the corner. All right, now what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to grab our rag, we're just going to wet it down with some kerosene. Now the kerosene is going to do two things. A, it's going to lubricate the setting tape, but it's also going to cause it to tack off over time as well. So we're just going to go and wipe this exposed face so it's nice and shiny all the way along, making sure we get both sides thoroughly. Don't be afraid to use a fair bit. The, ev the kerosene evaporates very, very quickly and it doesn't give you a lot of working time. We're just going to go ahead, we're going to push this into the frame. Now it's going to need a fair bit of force to get it in. Now we use toughened glass, so we've got the ability to give this a bit of a bit of a knock with a rubber mallet to get the frame onto the glass. If you're using laminated glass, as many of the American classics do, you do need to be careful because if you thump it like this with the with the laminated glass, you're going to end up with it breaking. Making sure you measure how far that glass was protruding from the frame before you actually start the job. In our case, this is correct. That's how far it sits out to seal against the front vent window rubber. So what we can now go ahead and do is we can grab our sharp blade. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to trim the excess off. Just cutting nice and neat all the way around. Through here. over to the other side. Now when possible, if you've got a nice warm day, we always recommend leaving this in the sun for an hour or two to try and heat the glass and the frame up. It just helps the setting tape tack off a little bit more and bond to the frame and the, uh, and the glass itself. If you don't have a warm day, if you can get a hairdryer or a heat gun on low heat, that's always recommended as well because the butyl itself actually softens up when it gets warm. So. Go ahead and wipe this. Now, all this black from the setting tape and the kerosene, it'll clean off with some simple glass cleaner. Won't take very much effort at all. And job done, a nice factory finish. So if you have any other questions, feel free to get in contact with us. Uh, for those of you in Australia, our uh, number is 1300 442 000. And we look forward to talking to you soon. See you.